Hey, this is Digital by Computing. Today we're going to look at how to increase your memory and CPU on a VM uh, while it's actually still powered on. We're using vSphere 6.7 or 6.5. Let's look at how to do that right after this. So my name is Emilio and I work in the IT industry and if you have used VMware for any length of time you will be very well aware that VMware gives you the flexibility to be able to increase or decrease the amount of RAM or CPU on a VM. However, the limitation is you can't do that while it's powered on. You can't essentially hot swap your CPU or your memory while it's powered on. So here I'm logged into uh, vSphere to the web client. We're running version 6.7 and I've got a server here called web-01. We see that by default it's got one CPU and four gig of RAM. And if I want to increase that, you know, the normal way you would do it is you'd right click on that VM and go into edit settings and then under CPU I could go and adjust the CPU or adjust the memory. But as you know, because the VM is powered on, I can't actually do this. Uh, the feature is only allows me to do this while the VM is powered off. So essentially I'd have to organize some sort of an outage window, potentially affecting services or customers or applications that are running on this VM. Uh, and there'll be a brief outage period while I shut it down, increase the CPU, increase the RAM, and then power it back on. What's great about VMware is there is actually a feature called hot plug, all right, which you can actually see right here, CPU hot plug and memory hot plug. You see that by default, these are powered off or these are turned off, they're not enabled. Now, right now I can't turn these on because the VM is powered on. So in its first instance, you will have to enable these two features and essentially by enabling these two features, you can actually change the amount of CPU and memory allocated to a VM while the VM is powered on, which is a great feature, essentially removing the need to power down a VM at all, right? So the way we have to do this, unfortunately, the very first time you do have to do this, you will have to power down that VM. So it may be a good practice is the very first time you do power a, uh, you, do, you do build a VM, it could be good practice to actually go and, um, enable this feature before it's deployed out into production. All right, so just good practice to actually turn this on uh, beforehand. If you do know that this VM will be used in future uh, and will require more resources. So what we're doing right now is we're shutting down this VM and we're going to enable those features, okay? The VM is now powered off. I can go back into the edit settings area on this VM and under CPU, I can now enable CPU hot add and under the memory area down the very bottom enable memory hot plug All right so those two features are now turned on and say okay and let's go ahead and power that VM back on so once the VM is powered on I can just console into it or RDP into it all right and I can now go into let's go into our properties And I can straight away see here the processor and the amount of RAM installed. And let's just say I need to double my CPU. So I need to go from one CPU to two CPUs on this particular VM. So previously, as I said, we would have had to shut the VM down, but now we can right click on this VM and you'll see that now I can actually select two. CPUs. Say OK. It's going to reconfigure it. This is all doing it while the VM is powered on. All right. So sometimes you may drop that session because it has to sort of re-establish a connection. But now you'll see if everything has worked correctly. If we just go out of here and go back in. It now says two processors. So it's essentially doubled the, doubled the CPU while it's been powered on. You can do the same thing with your memory as well. Nice and easy. 
Now the only thing that you'll notice is you can generally just go up, not down. So if I try to go back into here and edit my CPU, I can't set it back to one. So just be mindful of that. You may have to power down your VM to actually do this. But that is the easy way on how to automatically increase your CPU and your RAM. So I can go right into here, go six, right? Uh, nice and easy while your VM is powered on. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, I'd love it if you commented below and like my video as well and subscribe and uh, we'll talk to you next time. So if you found that video helpful, please like it and subscribe to my channel, Digital by Computing, just on the button there for more videos.